punk revolution. So some of you, if you're someone who really, well, first off, hello, how are you? Okay, why did I say that? Punk revolution. <laughs> Punk Revolution Nail, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, well, uh, my lunch. There you go. Autofocus. If you're new to my channel, welcome back. And if you're not new to my channel, you might be wondering, why have I not been making as many videos lately? Well, I've been still doing some videos here and there, but, you know, I haven't been reviewing as consistently. And my upload quantity has been slower. The reason for that is simply that I fell into a Weezer hole. More on that later. But I want to just make it super clear to everyone, I have been deep inside really, 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 really wanting to make videos. Like, I have been very frankly upset and frustrated that I haven't been able to make more videos. Me not uploading as many videos isn't because I don't want to. It's not like I've lost the passion and excitement for making videos. It's that I have been dying to make more videos, but I've had things in my life that have been getting in the way and that's been so frustrating when making videos and being and doing the punk revolution is my passion in life and then i have to step away from my passion to deal with other things in my life it makes me it's been very unhappy of a situation and hence brings me to the hypothesis of this video i have fallen into a weezer hole what is a weezer hole you may ask A Weezer hole is when you listen to so much Weezer, you forget everything else in your life. A Weezer hole is when you listen to Weezer releases that are not just their first two albums. A Weezer hole. So let's talk about the Weezer hole. So who invented the Weezer hole? Weezer hole was invented back in 1990, well, 1999, we're gonna say. I hate being a music nerd that I always have to know these dates. A Weezer hole was invented in 1999 when the lead singer and songwriter of Weezer, Rivers Cuomo, invented the Weezer hole. So River Cuomo's Weezer hole, basically he released the album Pinkerton. Pinkerton, was a highly personal, highly emotional album. That honestly is a pretty good album that people love today. But when Pinkerton was released, the music critics didn't like it, it got bad reviews. Rivers Cuomo just put his heart and soul and emotions into an album, put his, his soul out in the world for everyone to see, and then he got shat on. He got punished for, exp for, for exposing his emotions, which, led to him to spiral into a Weezer hole. Weezer hole. He invented the Weezer hole after that. He locked himself in the room and wrote a bunch of me mediocre so good songs that would go on to be songs on the Green album that would be extremely commercially successful but weren't very punk. None of that actually applies to me because, well, my music is loved by critics and worshipped by the entire world, so I don't need to worry about my emotions being hurt by people not liking my music because everyone does! And also, I'm not selling out by making Green Album. I'm doing the opposite. I'm actually working on more Fireman stuff that is some of my most... How do I put this? Least commercially friendly to date. Because it's about... Well, I can't even show the album cover. I can, I, I can show you the censored album cover. That's whatever. Just go, if you're, if you're not following, because I've been doing less videos, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I have literally 28,000 Instagram followers now, some freaking reason. Instagram, which is the least punk platform, is the platform now that I have the most followers. Jeebus knows why. Was Jeebus offensive? Let's take a look. I'm going to Google Jeebus because 
Jeebus, please don't be offensive because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. It is actually a definition. Informal, a humorous respelling of the name of Jesus. Often used as an exclamation expressing irritation, dismay, or surprise. Apparently popularized on Simpsons. Okay, so not offensive. I always check, whenever I say a new word, I always check to make sure it's not offensive because you never know. I don't want to be in that situation where I'm saying a word and I don't know what it means and then it ends up hurting people's feelings. I'm very sensitive like that. I'm very woke if you shall. So anyways, lunchtime. As I was saying, oh, do not guzzle Soylent. It's gonna give you diarrhea. All right, so anyways. Weezer Hole, Weezer Hole, Weezer Hole, Weezer Hole. What was I saying about Weezer Hole? Yeah, so some reason on Instagram is where I have the most amount of followers now. So even when I'm when I'm too deep in a Weezer Hole to be able to make videos, I'm still able to post on Instagram because posting on Instagram is easy. It's just life is not fair. Life is not fair. I put like in like five hours into making an amazing video and it gets like 500 views and then I'll, I'll take four seconds to make the absolute laziest Instagram post of my life and it'll get 100,000 likes. But obviously I'm okay with that because it's the punk revolution, god dang it. It's not about the quantity of likes and follows. It's about the passion and the punk rock. And the thing is, is that I think Instagram is such a pop brained platform that the moment that you have a punk revolution now movement show its face on Instagram, there's a demand because people on Instagram are starved. So you post any little punk rock revolution lao and then the whole world on Instagram goes nuts. But the reason I bring it up Instagram is just saying, if I'm slow on YouTube, to go on to my Instagram and same with Twitter. But, but do not, do not, do not take that to say, do not take that to say that I am going to be uploading YouTube videos less because I am climbing out of Weezer hole. We are going to climb out of the Weezer hole because I am dying to make videos, even though I have more followers on Instagram. The passion is with making videos because it's what makes me happy. And not only am I gonna be coming back to making videos regularly, they are going to be more ambitious and more revolutionary than ever because we need a revolution more than ever to save society. I'm probably gonna get reported on YouTube for how violent that was, but I don't care. I'm tired of following Google's rules. Goku's rules I'll follow. Go I, follow I will follow Goku's rules, not Google's rules. Anyway, so yes, punk revolution. We need a punk revolution now more than ever. So back to Weezer's hole. No! For some reason I tore this whole bottle up. Soylent. So back to Weezer hole. So I fell into a Weezer hole. A Weezer hole is deep and dark and a variety of red and blue colors and green. And what color is Pinkerton? Is Pinkerton, is that a black cover or is that like dark blue? It's Japanese, that's all I see. Oh, that sounded so wrong. I see so much more to it than the ethnicity of the artist. No! Weezer's not even Japanese, so I don't have to apologize. So what was I saying? Ah, let me just Google Weezer real quick. Make sure Weezer's not actually Japanese. Is Weezer Japanese? I'm gonna, we'll see what it says on Google. Is Weezer Japanese? There's a Reddit thread. Let's take a look at the Reddit thread. What's the connection between Rivers and Japan? I've noticed a lot of connections and references to Japan and Japanese things in Rivers Cuomo's work. Example, the song Across the Sea, the line El Scorcho about half Japanese girls and the, the fact that he's married to a Japanese woman. What the? As well as the Scott and River. What the? What the fudge? And then the top reply. He's a weeb. I think that might partially explain why I've been falling into a Weezer hole lately. I'm going to pull myself out of a Weezer hole. So I don't have anything else to say other than I'm pulling myself out of a Weezer hole and I am so excited to be making more videos because all I can think about is I wanna be more making more videos. 
and reviews. There's so many good albums that I've just not been able to review. It makes me sad. It breaks my heart. But I'm still listening to all of it. I really appreciate all of the good stuff because it keeps the flame of the revolution alive. And we need a revolution more now than ever because society is crumbling and it is up to us to fix it. And if we don't fix it, then society is going to crumble so far that Donald Dump is going to be the one to pick it up from the ashes and lead us to fascism. Unless we have a punk revolution to save the world. And that is why we need to work harder, not smarter. Or both. We're going to work smarter and harder. Punk revolution. Nah.